So welcome you to the next session in the module four. That is a rule based classification. Next, we'll see how the rule based classifier works. Uh, next topic is about uh, now till now what we have seen is uh, what actually the rule based classification is, uh, how the rules are being derived, uh, what is the format of the rule. When I say rule set, what is it actually? Uh, each rule is having uh, what is the format in which you will be writing the each of the each of these rules, right? So now we'll see how the uh, rule-based classifier actually works. Okay. Uh, so uh, let us say that we have been given with a training data set. So consider this as your training data set. So this data set here represents uh, uh, the classification of a classification of a particular vertebrate uh, uh, given as a mammal or a reptile or a fish or an amphibian or a bird. Uh, so there are, I think, uh, if you see this class label part here, uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, five different class labels are there. So these are the different vertebrates that they have given uh, based on their uh, various features, uh, uh, based on whether it can be based on the body temperature or the skin cover, or whether it is capable of giving birth or not, and whether it is an aqu uh, aquatic creature or it is an aerial creature that is as it, whether it has a capability to fly, then it has, do, do they have legs or will they be able to hibernate? So these are the different features of the vertebrate uh, based on which the classification is made. Say consider this is the data set given to us and we call this data set to be as a training set as you already know. Okay. So now uh, let we have certain rules derived for these this data set given. So if you see this data set here, uh, uh, you can have uh, the number of attributes to be as uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cat attributes are there apart from this class label. Uh, so you can derive you, the maximum length that you, uh, your uh, rule can have is uh, accommodating eight attributes, correct? So that is the maximum length that you are having. So let us consider a few simple rules now. Uh, say consider I have a first rule is this. Gives birth is equals to no and aerial creature is equals to yes and uh, the class label is bird. So he's telling that uh, if this attribute that is gives birth value is no and the aerial creature value is yes, then we can tell that particular vertebrate to be as a bird. And let me just see with that, uh, check with that particular uh, data set and see whether it is there. What was the rule? Gives birth no, aerial creature yes. Check in this whether that rule is uh, covering any record here. Gives birth is no, aerial creature yes. So see where is aerial creature, yes, and here it is there. And uh, give birth, this is yes, so this is not the record. Yes, here I have one record, right? So gives birth is no, the aerial creature is yes. See whether the class, whether the class label is bird, yes, it is bird. Similarly, find any other aerial creature value, yes, there's no other aerial creature, okay, fine. Which means this record is able to, uh, sorry, this rule is able to cover one record there, okay? So let me see a second rule. Uh, this is the second rule. Gives birth is no, aquatic creature is yes. Gives birth no, aquatic creature yes. Then it means it is fish. Okay, let me check here. Gives birth no, aquatic creature is yes. So here is that record uh, whose antecedent part is matching. See whether this is having a class label as fish, yes. Okay, so this is that particular record which I'm talking about. And see any other uh, where the antecedent part is getting matched. Aquatic creature, yes, give birth, no, not this one. Aquatic creature, yes, and this is not the one. So here I have one more. So aquatic creature is yes, and give birth is no. So again, this is fish. So uh, this rule, uh, uh, again, the rule to whatever we have derived, it is also having certain coverage. Fine, then that is a valid rule only. So let this be the third rule that we are deriving. So here I'm having gives birth as yes, and then body temperature as warm blooded. So warm blooded animals, uh, they are considered to be as mammals and uh, they are capable of giving birth to their young ones also. Uh, again, let me check with this with the data set. So uh, here is the data set, uh, body temperature warm, 
uh, warm blooded and give birth yes yes it is a mammal so again this is having coverage so what i'm doing here is whether the rule what we have defined is having certain coverage or not that's all i'm actually seeing here yes it is there coverage is there similarly uh, consider these two rules so say consider i have five rules derived for the data set shown so if you want you can take the screenshot of this data set uh, this you also need to make a note of this data set in your notebook also uh, for for the future references and future problems you take a screenshot now okay so i think you have taken the screenshot so let this be the rules and that be the training set now uh, let me let us see how the rule based classifier works so to check the to understand the working of rule based classifier let us consider uh, a test data given to us so let this be the test data given to us let this be the test data given to us and uh, uh as we have considered those rules before so consider those rules again so take this are the rules that we have derived right now how are we going to see this or how are we going to find the class table so what we have to do is uh, we will check for each rule and compare it with the test data given take consider each rule one by one and compare it with the test data given okay so take first rule gives birth is no aerial creature yes so take here gives for the first record first record gives birth is no so the first conjunct is matching check for the second conjunct second conjunct is aerial creature is yes check here yes the aerial creature is also yes which means this rule this rule has covered this record one this record one or i can tell that this record one has triggered rule one understood so coverage and trigger how how am i using it see remember understand rule one is covering record one or other words i can tell that record one is triggering rule one okay so that is the usage of trigger and cover okay so rule one which means i can classify this as bird because this is getting satisfied if the antecedent part is matching antecedent part is matching of the rule with the record then i can classify that record as this particular class label which means here i can take it as bird but before that check with the other rules also here you are having gives birth no aquatic creature yes give birth no so this is matching this conjunct is matching check for this aquatic creature yes so here aquatic creature is no which means this record is not covered by r2 this record is not covered by r2 it is covered by r1 check for r3 also gives birth is yes here but what i am having is gives birth no which means r3 is also not covering record see why i am not going to see the other one only i am check i checked with this first one yeah straight away i decided it is not it will not cover why that is because i am having an and operator here this conjunct you, a conjunction disjunction we have studied in dms if you remember conjunction means and operation and you know that in and operation when it will be true only when both the uh, premises matches right so this is one premise here and this is the other premise here so if both of these premise match then only i can classify it if any one of this fails then i cannot have this classification so remember this conjunction conjunct disjunction disjunct conjunction means and disjunction is or so just a recap of dms concept right so each one of this is a premise here this is a premise and this is also a premise okay so next uh, uh, now r3 is also not covering so go for r4 in r4 what you have gives birth no so first conjunct is matching aerial creature no is there here aerial creature yes is there which means this is false and therefore r4 also does not cover okay so next to see for the rule 5 aquatic creature is semi what is i am having for aquatic creature no it is not semi it is no here so this is also not satisfying so among these records here only r1 is trigger r1 is covering record 1 and none of the other rules are covering record 1 which means i can straight away tell that hawk the vertebrate name hawk 
is actually a bird so it comes under bird that is how i give the class label so hope you have understood how we are doing it so if not carefully listen again for this you will understand okay now what we'll do i have now i have first record is been classified i will consider second record for the classification purpose so i will compare it by uh, the rule by rule comparison i will make okay so first i am comparing it with rule one what is rule one gives birth no so check whether gives birth is no it is yes here which means r1 is not covering record two rule one is not covering record two because this itself is having a mismatch so again gives birth no here so this again will not be able to match because straight away no is there because here i am having yes take the third rule so third rule is having gives birth is yes okay so let me continue with the next conjunct body temperature is warm blooded check for the second record whether the body temperature is warm blooded yes it is which means since both these conjuncts are matching with this particular records attribute value i can classify it as a mammal but straight away don't jump into the conclusion because we have two more rules left here so just check gives birth no this is not possible so eliminate r4 aquatic creature is semi just see here whether the aquatic creature is semi or not no it is no here so r5 also does not cover the record 2 which means i am having only r3 which covers record 2 here so what should be the class label class label should be mammals so here bear uh, Uh, comes under bear comes under what mammals so this is how you are going to make use of the rule set derived and the training set given to classify the test data that is given to us so using a uh, rule training set we will derive rule set and using the rule set we will uh, find the class for the test data okay so here these two uh, this is how we do it now uh, in order to understand the property of the rule set uh, there are certain properties for the rule set so in order to understand those properties i would like to consider two more test data so the, this is the test data that is given to us say so this uh, first uh, two records we have classified try to classify these two now okay so turtle is the vertebrate name i want to check whether turtle turtle is a bird or a fish or a mammal or a reptile or a amphibian so first consider rule 1 gives birth is no here it is gives birth is no so first conjunct is matching check for the second conjunction aerial creature yes but what is the aerial creature here it is no so one of the conjunct is failed so r1 does not cover turtle so for r2 r2 what you are having gives birth no yes it matches first conjunct is getting matched check for the second conjunct aquatic creature is yes here see here whether aquatic creature is yes no aquatic creature is semi here it is given as semi so again r2 will not cover record 1 check for r3 so r3 uh, gives birth is yes so gives birth is yes so here it is no so straight away uh, r3 is also not covering uh, uh, turtle check for r4 gives birth is no aerial creature no gives birth is no is matching check for aerial creature aerial creature is no here for r4 here aerial creature is no yes so r4 is has covered the record here that is record 3 but don't come to the conclusion that is it is a reptile straight away check for r5 also in r5 what he is telling is telling r5 aquatic creature should be semi here i am ha having a aqua aquatic creature to be a semi oh now we have a con uh, dispute here right whether to consider it as reptile or to be considered as an amphibian which means i can tell for the class label here i have a dispute what is the dispute either um, because this record this record here has triggered two rules this record record 3 here has triggered two rules here that is r4 is also triggered r5 is also triggered which means there is a dispute between considering either this as a reptile or it to be as an amphibian so there there is a, a case like this so what we have to do so let's see in the next uh, 
uh, slide we'll see how what we have to do this for such cases uh, for now i'll keep it as it is because it is being uh, uh, both it can be either reptile or it can be amphibian i don't know properly what i have to do now so there is a dispute i'll keep it as it is let the ambiguity i have to remove the ambiguity so how to remove ambiguity we have not yet studied right so let it be as it is there okay consider the record four so in record four uh, again do the comparison r1 no uh, gives birth no here gives birth is yes since the first conjunct itself is failed it is r1 does not cover r4 uh, go for r2 r2 says gives birth is no again here it is yes so r2 also does not cover so gives birth is yes here r3 yes and the first conjunct is getting matched check for the second conjunct second conjunct in r3 is telling that body temperature is warm blooded but what is the body temperature here it is cold blooded so which means r3 is also not covering r4 okay so go for r4 sorry record 4 so take rule r4 gives birth is no here gives birth is yes so this conjunct failed which means r4 is not covering record 4 so go for r5 r5 says that aquatic creature is semi see here whether aqua oh here it is aquatic creature is yes which means none of these rules are able to cover this record 4 here or in other words record 4 here did not trigger any of the rules here which means what what will be the class label again a question mark only i also don't know what will be the class label for this because the rules that i have derived is not giving any information and this is uh, this record is not able to trigger any this rule is these rules are not able to cover it so again a question mark itself so this is one more condition that we might come across so initial first two records when we saw we had a unique class classification being possible in the third in the third record i had an ambiguity and in the fourth record i could not assign any of the class so these are the certain things that we can come across and based on these observation what we have made here in this particular uh, uh, given test data we can tell that the rule set should have some properties involved so that the rules derived will be able to classify any given test data so it is our duty our duty in the sense the business analyst duty or an data analyst duty to derive the rules in such a way that we will be able to classify any of the given data set any of the given data set thank you students if you have any doubts or queries or for feedback you can write back to me thank you